very like patient, a very passive character. Although you, it may seem like it's camping at the time, it, it really isn't. It, listen, it's, 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 it's set up. You're playing the character how he needs to be played. Yeah. And, and Pac-Man, I mean, he has some good uh, low percent follow-ups as well. I think, I think people kind of underestimate. Uh, a lot of things have just been adjusted to make this character a lot more viable. As you see earlier on. Oh my good oh, god. Oh my. Ooh. Lord have mercy. I thought that was it. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, how you going to kill a water <laughs> Pokemon with a Hydra, bro? That's yeah. just criminal. Luckily, you don't set Charmander on fire. It don't make sense. <laughs> Luckily, Akashik was able to use that uh, wall cling to kind of delay his recovery and get the right angle to get back to the stage. And I credit him a lot for, for staying engaged there, too, because a lot of players might get kind of frustrated. Oh, man, my stock's already going I'll, just I'll like that. He's like, I no, done. <laughs> if there's a will, there's a way. But <laughs> already, T finding a way to create a tremendous lead. See that Hydra play, excellent control thus far. And he's got the bell out. He's able to connect this. He's definitely got the stock. I like the way he threw the bell on the platform, eliminating that recovery option for Akashik. And the down Wow, bro. Unbelievable. Can you, and that's just positioning, too. A couple dashes. Like, let me just take a little, a few steps back from that right side and just catch you. And sure enough, doing just that. So Akashik, oh he is. God. And, and this is kind of one of those things where, where I touched on. Matchup familiarity might do you in. Because we already know Japan has several talented Greninjas. Yes. This is not going to be uncommon ground for T, and he is certainly playing like, look, <laughs> I've been here a couple times. Oh, no. oh, yeah. Yeah, that grab was buffed, but I still so, hear so, people like. Right? <laughs> who, said, who said that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, Pass man. Patch line, bro. <laughs> I'm going to help my girl Kiwi. Let me know, man. <laughs> I don't see it. Yeah, it's, it definitely it still struggles in a lot of situations and leaves you very vulnerable. Absolutely. All right, so T, complete dominant start thus far. Yeah, looking for the follow-up, couldn't quite find the up smash. Yeah, Akashik just uh, trying to use that water pump to really uh, thwart T's recovery, but Pac-Man has so many different ways to recover. Even yeah. if you do push him with the hydro pump, excuse me, he's uh, not yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> I was like, he's like, my man play Pokemon. <laughs> I'm just teasing, oh, man. I, de I definitely play Pokemon. You already know, man, but T ain't playing oh. around. A two-stock lead has developed, and I'll tell you, just based off momentum alone, I would not be surprised to see the three-stock. I mean, I don't want to call it, man, but it's looking like that could be the trend. It's kind of looking like a wash to. for sure. But yeah. I mean, we're not going to count Akashik out. He could definitely get a kill confirmed right now. The down tilt or the dash attack oh, should I, be able to connect. I definitely believe my man could get a stock off. Is he going to win this game? No. <laughs> like, <laughs> like can we, Dang, Listen, man. Look, look, you got to keep it real. I think that's you're the right, thing. You're right. You got to keep it realistic with folks sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And that's not a knock on Aka by any means, but it's an admiration of how well T has played A testament far. to T's prowess Exactly. In this you know what I'm saying? Sure. But that's why it's best of three. Get to do adapt and see what you can bring back to the table. Right now, though, T's got the juice. Yeah, he ain't can, giving it up. You can start to see Akashik is also starting to slow down the pace of his own gameplay. Down tilt there we go. up air, unbelievable. We just needed one yeah. clean follow-up, able to find it. So maybe that'll spark a little bit of momentum. Let's see if he could try and go on a run. Yeah, he's exercising way more patience there, especially on the platform. Applying the pressure with the up smash, not going to really find too much. T right. just sitting back, using the Galaxian ship to kind of create some space here. Well, one thing he's done, I mean, he's kind of disengaged T a, a little bit more. Yes. Some of those just, I'm just going to run up in your face and try oh. to do Greninja things. It certainly did not work, but I'm going to run up in your face, throw a bell, and do Pac-Man-ish. Well, yeah. <laughs> point, no complaints about that. Point, point blank, bell into the forward smash. Very strong punish there for Key. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. super dominant, two stock. Uh, he was at like less than 20%. Right. Um, so now the pressure to, to Akashik. How do we respond to this, right? Okay. I got a chance to catch my breath. I'm going to get an opportunity to take it to a stage I'm comfortable with. And I know the formula how I start off that first game isn't going to work. I can't just rush this guy down and just hope for the best. Okay, I got to play him a little bit more respect. Pick my moments, pick my spots a little bit better. And as we're touch, touch on him, and like, listen, Greninja has the tools to do that. Yes. But you got to have the patience to back it up as well. Absolutely. And, and patience is going to be key. Uh, Akashik started doing a lot better toward, on his last stock yep. when he really really just needed to like absolutely needed to stop being so aggressive it, it, and if he plays like that throughout this next yeah. game he, he have much more success it certainly did not look one-sided uh towards the tail end of that match right. i will say that we'll see if that was uh really producing off akashik's just ad ad adjustments excuse me or if well, he just took his foot off the gas but i can tell you if he did he put it right back on a quick 57 being tacked on we're not even 30 seconds into this game Ooh, okay love the response Patience will win this. Yeah. And you can see a, a lot of patience. I mean, he, he really stayed center stage and uh, used those water shurikens uh, 
I would like to see him apply a little bit more pressure at least at the ledge as well, you. not let him get back for uh, so much for free. Even though Pac-Man does get back to the stage fairly safe. Pac-Man's nutty at coming yeah. back, man. He's, he's hard to pin down, that's for sure. I should wow. go, and you see the benefits here of FD removing any kind of platform from the equation. So that has allowed him to just kind of spark his offense a little better. This is the kind of play that I was expecting to see from Jump. It's not rush down in your face. It's, I'm just kind of trying to bait out some uncomfortable options from you and capitalize off that. Uh-oh, Bell at the ledge. Excellent wait from Akashik. Not going to get uh, caught by that setup. Mm. Dead even percents here. I, yeah, I, d I definitely respect this from Akashik. Just not overcommitting quite as much as he was. He, he is throwing a lot more Shadow Sneak, though, trying to catch um, T off guard. And that's probably something he kind of picked up from that last yes. game. How can I capitalize on some of these crucial moments at these junctures? Mm, okay, fade it back. That was smart. Using the Hydra for the pressure. Akashik, I'm absolutely loving the response here. Okay, quick jab. Sending T off stage. Charging the fruit. And look. Look at that. Didn't even grab the ledge. Still able to make it back. Smart. He has oh, really no. done a good job negating all that. Because one of the big things... Wow, I'm I can't believe it. Yeah, what? Yeah. what? Okay. <laughs> FD can't big, though. <laughs> One of the big things that really did him in early was the fact he took so much damage off just those, those hydrant hits. You know what I'm saying? T For just sure. got so much percent off of that. As you see it back there, able to secure the stock. But in a much better situation, 144, that stock being very vulnerable. Absolutely. This is one down tilt oh, confirmed oh, no, oh, no. into the kill. But already 50%, man. Pac-Man does have combos. There's a down tilt up air. But there's that uh, FD counterpick working against them, actually. They saw it in one instant save him, and the other yeah. one kind of do him in from getting that stock. So it can kind of be a back and forth affair. It's just, oh, and this is, this is starting to get a little bit ugly. And that's one of the things you kind of worry about. Even at 144, where T was at, it's the fact that if he's able to start, oh, oh get those plays going, you see the difference, but ah, shit, slicing through. Yeah, that's a fight, man. deficit, but he's definitely not out of it yet. Down till up. Oh, okay. All right. Got a little bit of a combo cut going here by the ledge. Not able to get that forward smash in with enough time. Mm. Oh. That's so scary because oh it just stays God. active, yeah. right? And you're just like all yeah. that pressure on the right side. I mean, he's like forced to pick a oh, get up. Oh, God. He's lucky. He actually traded there, so he's able to preserve his stock. Unintentional or not, he'll take it. Yeah, I'm actually surprised uh, we haven't seen more of the trampoline set up by the ledge there. It forces your opponent to pick pretty much like jump, which is going to be punished every single time. Because gotcha. if you do normal get up, get up attack, you're going to get caught in the trampoline and set up into the sky anyway. So it's a really good ledge trap option for Pac-Man. Shadow point. sneak, not going to connect. We're taking our time right here. Oh, T, T is going to use this uh, like position off stage to charge his fruit. So he, he can take his time to come back to the stage. It actually benefits him a lot. Definitely. Man, he is, he is struggling to get in. I mean, actually he's kind of started to, or his, just the way he's evading has been terrific this last 30 seconds. I mean, he's understanding, like, look, I mean, I got him at 110. If I can get this stock off now, it's still anybody's game to take. Absolutely. Only 32% on Akashik. Pressuring with the water shirt can off stage. I never hate that recovery. Yeah. If I could just be candidly on. <laughs> <laughs> It's tricky because if you go out there and try to edge guard it a lot of time, like if if he's using the either the side B or the up B, you yeah. could get stage spiked into the wall. Yeah, you can make through. the plays, but the, it's just it's kind of a risk yeah. reward kind of oh, situation. Absolutely. I think I can understand that. Yeah. He's understand as well that this is starting to snowball again. Oh, oh no! And so I don't even know if he was expecting him to go for that option, just wait and just hit the force match. But he was just like, you know what? You put me in this position. I'm actually spaced. Correct. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Yeah, really fortunate for T there and unfortunate that he was not able to get the count.